Charterman, 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 You know, and you could rub, you know, your thumb all over the man nipples, right? That, and I just, I just love doing that, you guys. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharmas Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on the brand new Marvel Legends Titanium Man. Uh, the wave that this came out in is actually the Iron Man, the Armored, Armored Avenger Legends class. It's actually the Legends series. Really awesome figure. I really, really lucked out on this. Sean Long actually found one for me, so I got really lucky there. And then just a couple days after, I found one at Toys R Us, and just really, really awesome. So big thanks to Sean. Uh, the link to Sean's channel is right at the bottom, right there. This guy's pricey. It cost me uh, what nineteen seventy eight, something like that, out the door after tax and everything at at my local Toys R Us. Well, it's not so local, but. You know, it's a bit much, and I can understand how people will have a big problem with that. But as a collector, I don't mind at all. I'm just happy that the figure exists and that I was able to buy one. And as and again, as a collector, I, I would probably be willing to pay more for it. So, not really complaining about the price, but I can understand how a lot of people would have, have a problem with it. And then another thing that bothers me about the figure, I'm starting the video out mentioning all the negative points, but after that, you know, I just love the figure, is he doesn't have interchangeable hands. The Mark VI and War Machine from this wave have interchangeable hands which is really really cool so the fact that the price has gone up and there's less stuff kind of bothers me but you know what it's not a big deal now one thing that I've heard people complain about that isn't really a complaint of mine is the color choice of green now I'm not really familiar with the character too much and you know from the comics and I know that there's a bunch of different versions of titanium man out there but I've heard people say that, oh, why didn't they use a three three quarter inch comic series, you know, ver you know, color instead? Which is a cool color. I, I like the shiny paint here. And it's got like a glittery effect going on. I think that's very very cool. But I really like this one too. It's actually deceptively plain. I don't know what the technical term for the paint is, but it's got this pearlizing solution in it that really adds a lot of. Gl it's like got this glitter in it. So you, can you see like the golden sparkles in there? I know it sounds funny, like look the golden sparkles everybody! But no seriously, it has golden sparkles in it. And it's really really cool. It, it reflects light in a very cool way. Like sometimes it reflects light yellow and then other times it reflects light as white. Depending on the light source and the angle. I just think that is top notch paint right there. That is like high end paint to have that kind of effect. So I'm not, you know, I, I'm really not complaining about that at all. I think that is awesome. You even got it in the visor right here. You can see like the glittery kind of look inside the visor. Very neat. I think that's badass. And the other thing that I really love about this is the black and silver dry brush work. That is just so cool. Just reminds me of old school legends. I just love it, man. Now on the joints right here, it's the flat gray, but it doesn't really stick out too much, you know. It's got these weird lines right here, I think that's just from manufacturing. Now before even coming out of the package, I did notice two uh, paint scuffs that just came like that. So you could see there's like this black mark on the side of his cheek right there. And then there's this other thing going on on the bottom part of his abs. You could see like the paint, I don't know what happened there. Very, very dope sculpt all the way around. They even sculpted the actual hinges inside the thighs right here to match up. I think that's very, very neat. I love these panels. I like how, what they did with the shoulders right here on the back. This is very cool. This riveting thing doesn't go all the way up, but I, I can understand why because articulation would be hard to use right there, but it does move up quite a bit over here on the front. Just an awesome looking figure. With 360 from a little farther away. Very, very cool. Just love it. Really, really stoked, you guys. Uh, its head moves up quite a bit. I like that a lot. So you can get him into really cool flying poses. It does move side to side as well and down. He has these shoulder pads that are hinged, so I like that a lot. 
helps with moving his shoulders. Even though you can't really get his arm all the way up, but that's about as far up as you can get it if you want to get him in that kind of pose. He obviously has a shoulder joints right here. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist articulation moves side to side and up and down. I like the detail on the fist too. That's pretty cool. And it's the same thing on the other side except he's got the open palm going on. Like I said, he's got the ab crunch. Awesome to see the waist articulation. Thigh joint, thigh ball jointed thingy right here. And now, a thing that's kind of a trip, and I think I heard Boog Nice 10 mention this in his video, is that it was really hard for him to move the thigh, and he didn't want to crack it because it was Marvel Merc's figure. But you have to crack these thighs loose. And it's, um, it, it, it's kind of like you have this moment of fear because I was like, shit, it's stiff. Oh, did I break it? Did I break it? No. And when you turn it, it'll go crack, like really loud. So it'll make you think that you broke the figure, but you just have to do it to loosen it up. And it's not super loose or anything. It's just how you'd like it to be. So you, you have to go through this moment of fear, but it stays, you know, really, really well. It works just fine. So, you know, I think Hasbro is using really good plastic. Double jointed knees right here. And he's got... The ankle articulation that moves side to side and up and down. No ankle pivot, but hopefully one day we will get that back. I do like the sculpt at the bottom of the feet, but he does not have whole pegs. But you can see the boosters right there. I like how the boots came out. It's got a bunch of numberings and stuff like that right here, too. The figure has a copyright of 2009. I think that's a trip. That just shows, I guess, it just really takes a long time to produce an action figure. Yeesh. He looks really cool pitted up against a Mark IV Iron Man right here. And these figures are a little bit shorter than Marvel Legends. I mean, his back is a little bit arched down. But they're about the same size. But yeah, this modern Iron Man is a little bit taller. He comes with this uh, accessory right here. I'm not usually a big fan of these, but I think it actually looks pretty cool. Not bad. He has two uh, missiles. So you just put these in here. And then this attaches to his wrist, and you fire it. There you go. Or you could, if you press it hard enough, you could shoot both of them at once. You know, I won't be using this in my display, but it's just, you know, it's neat. It's okay. So like I said, I think he's a bit pricey, but it is a very cool figure. You can get him into a lot of fun, cool poses. Definitely worth picking up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.